Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week, checking in from a black void this time around. I decided to enter the abyss once and for all, and that's where I'm reporting from. Uh, to be honest, so I'm not even sure how the lighting and all of that is uh, kind of turning out in this one. I do have a suit jacket, it's draped over the, the chair that I'm sitting on, so I'm not, like, floating on some sort of, you know, cloud or something. Um, but I just wasn't sure how the lighting and all that would work out. But anyway, yeah, it's it's in the evening, I understand that. And, uh, well, I just kind of say, now, why not? Let's, let's, let's go for it. Besides, the... Now, I don't think this is actually the case, but you could say, well, the mysterious lighting is uh, perfect for the mood of this video. I don't even know where I was going with that, because I don't think there really is anything mysterious about this, but let's pretend that it is. Let's pretend that this is like, this is the reincarnation of Scooby-Doo right here. And I'm solving this mystery. You know, just make something up. Burger King has made an adjustment to their menu, though, and that isn't a mystery, because they promoted it, and they let everyone know about it, so see, there's that segue, there's the glorious uh, segue that explains everything. Um, but Burger King, see, late last year they have, they introduced a dollar menu, I should say, and that makes sense, you know, all sorts of places have these value menus and dollar menus where they just have some cheap eats and cheap snacks, and uh, Burger King kind of said, alright, well, better late than never, let's go for it. So they introduced this menu that's called the Your Way Value Men Menu, uh, which just has, you know, cheap eats for a buck, pretty much, and uh, they introduced that late last year, and since then, they've been making some tweaks and adjustments to the menu. I guess they're just trying to perfect it and figure out what works best with this, what works best there, um, what items are even worthy, right, of being a dollar. So, they had a bacon cheeseburger on the dollar menu. They got rid of it. Now, some people were kind of saying, well, maybe it's because, you know, this bacon cheeseburger is just some sort of uh, evil monstrosity and it's not even deserving of the dollar menu, but other people are kind of saying, well, I think they did this as a cost-saving uh, measure, and they replaced it. I mean, no matter why they took it off the menu, what we do know is that they replaced it, and uh, they replaced it with the Rodeo Burger. Now, the Rodeo Burger isn't anything new. It's been on the menu for, I mean, a very long time. We're talking years, at least. Um, I'm not sure how long, but it's just been a long time. This is not anything new. But they are lowering the price of the Rodeo Burger to one dollar. The Rodeo Burger is one of those items, I've never had it before. Um, I've always looked at it, and I've always, just to be completely honest, I've looked at it and I've said to myself, this looks like the saddest, uh, most dejected-looking sandwich that I've seen. Like, it looks like this is the sandwich that, that had potential and just completely and utterly failed and it's this sad-looking little thing, and, uh, now it's just rejected and sitting there on the dollar menu, forgotten by everyone. So, what I want to find out today, is this an underrated favorite? You know, is... am I just judging a book by its cover, which I probably am, either way, and, uh, maybe this is, like, a hidden gem. And that's the thing that I always like, like, doing with these sorts of dollar menus and stuff. You always get these little obscure types of items that are either really, really good, and it's like, wow, I can't believe I've never heard of this before, or never tried it, or not as many people know about it. Or, it's god-awful, and it's like, yeah, all right, I know why this isn't here on the... <laughs> why, why no one really knows about this, because this thing is just terrible. So the Rodeo Burger. Again, it's available at the price of one dollar. Here's what it comes with. A flame-grilled patty, onion rings, barbecue sauce, and it's on a sesame seed bun. So it's a very simple burger, um, I guess it's evocative of those memories of being at the rodeo, right? I don't know. I guess you throw in some barbecue sauce and onion rings and that's what all the cowboys eat, so there you go. Imagine that you're at the rodeo feasting away on these. Um, <laughs> but that's what it is. Have it right here. It's a simple, simple sandwich. Although you even look at the size of it right here in the wrapping, it's actually a little bigger than you think. 
I already got a thumbnail of this, so I'm not gonna bother with that, um, because the sun is... It's not even late at that, at that late at night, I should say, um, but the sun was just going down, and I thought, eh, I'll just get the thumbnail then before I, I really get into the video. Hence the disparity there. Let's take a look at it. Now here's a close-up of it. It's a no-frills burger. Small patty, two onion rings, sesame seed bun, and then, see right there, there's the barbecue sauce. So see, there's the, bu the, <laughs> the bottom bun, the beef patty. Actually, there's three onion rings. Look at that. They went all out. And then there's the barbecue sauce. So see, there I am with it. We'll just do this for the fun of it. And I'll put it together. You know, I had the white shirt on for a while because I thought it might just be better for the lighting, but I don't know. I feel like I'm here in front of the camera. I've got a suit jacket right here. I'm just going to put the suit jacket back on because why not? It just feels right, you know? There we go. Even if you can't really see much of me anymore, I feel like I'm back in business now. And that was a waste of a couple seconds, either way. So you know what's on it. Here's the size comparison. You can see it's like... I think the bun is the biggest thing on it all. But we'll see. Is this an underrated favorite? Is it not? Let's find out. Rodeo Burger from Burger King going in. It's basic, but it's not bad. I mean, you got... Here's one of the most important things I always factor in with these sorts of, you know, dollar menu items. It's just a buck. I mean, that's all that it is. You're not out there paying, you know, 12 bucks for this or something. This is something that could be bought with just some pocket change lying around. So you think about that, you think about what you're paying for it, right? What you're putting in versus what you're getting out. When you break it down that way, I say to myself, well, it may not be the best burger in the world. It may not even be as good as the Rodeo King burger, which they did release a couple years ago, um, which had a lot to it. But you break this down that this is just a dollar menu burger. It's pretty solid. I mean, I gotta give them credit. See, here's the thing. Everything works. It's a rather simplistic sandwich. It has some issues, but it's not bad. All right? The beef, now, yeah, I know they don't really use the actual, you know, the traditional flame grilling anymore, um, but it still tastes good. You could really get that meaty flavor. It's a little on the dry side, but I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. It's a little on the dry side, still flavorful, though, but then you get the onion rings, which have that nice potency, but that nice crisp to it as well. Um, in terms of consistency, it really adds a lot to the burger. And then, when I was talking about the dryness, you have the barbecue sauce, which is actually, it's like a tangy barbecue almost, and there's a good amount of it. Now, it's kind of, you know, nudged between the onion rings, but you factor that in, the barbecue sauce really gives it some very much-needed moisture. It ties it all together, it adds a nice tanginess to the burger. It works well with the onion rings and the beef patty, and it all just blends together nicely, and it leads to a pleasant combination. Everything kind of equals out on itself. The meat helps balance out the flavor, and the bun too, 
helps balance out the flavor of the onion rings and the barbecue sauce, but those two flavors in and of themselves give the burger the boost that it needs to really be something. Um, it's a pleasant sandwich. It's light. There's really not a lot to talk about. It's small, it's snack-sized. The fact that it's just available for a buck. And, yeah, some people say, yeah, but with the bacon cheeseburger, you, you know, you were getting some bacon and some cheese. True. But in this case, you still are getting some nice barbecue sauce and some onions. It's a totally different thing, so it's like trying to compare apples and oranges, you know? A rodeo burger with barbecue sauce and onion rings isn't the same as a bacon cheeseburger. I think people have to make that distinction. So factoring that all in, it's a pleasant sandwich. I can't really complain. And like I said, all of the ingredients seem to have a distinct purpose, and they all work out nicely together. And for a buck, it's a solid snack. And, uh, I'd get it again. You know, if I'm feeling a little peckish, but not really hungry for a full meal, it's, it's just a dollar. And it tastes good for what it is, so that's what's most important. So therefore, out of ten, I'm gonna give the Rodeo Burger from Burger King an eight out of ten. I know Burger King may have some hits or misses, um, but I think they did a good job with this one. Happy to report. So with that, we tried out the Rodeo Burger from Burger King, seeing if this is maybe an underrated item that not a lot of people really know about. They're putting some renewed attention on it, and I can see why. So, check it out. It's just a buck, and get it if you're interested. That's all that I have for you. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Until next time.